Hey guys, Joe here, and here we are to talk about the Point .52, one of the better weapons in the game, if not, I uh, kind of want to say the best weapon in the game, really won't say that though, because the decal, mm, so good, but it's one of the better weapons in the game, and I will be going over why, mainly just because it's a killing weapon, and it can get a lot of the ground, and it's just really good in ranked, which is pretty much what matters, uh, if you do like to play not ranked though, it's not quite as good, but can still get a lot of kills. So with this weapon, first off it has very decent range so it can kill the opponent at a pretty far range. Has very very high damage, if you have two damage pluses and a few secondary damage pluses it can kill in two shots. Normally it will kill in three though, so you can't turn three shots into a two shot which is very nice. Has a splash wall which will pretty much make you invincible from that side so it can be very strong and stop the opponent from coming in. And finally it has the killer whale which will just kill the opponent very easily, of course like always. Now you get this weapon at level 5, so it's just very strong, you'll get it very early and you can just use it. I would recommend to use the this version, but I'll be going over that at another time. So for these things, for your main uh, abilities, you want of course two damage ups, or two damage ups and a few damage up smalls. You'll have to look up exactly how much you want because it does depend. So about two damage ups, maybe one or two damage ups small, will give you a two shot kill which is very very good. Next off, of course, just go with Run Speed Up, or go with Ninja Squid, or go with the uh, Squid, what is it called? Right over here. Squid Jump, all these are good. Just overall, pick the best ones. It's one of the better weapons in the game, but now let me get to actually using it in the little dojo area. So let's go right there, Equipment, and then let's go to the test. And let's just go over everything very quickly. So of course, throw one of these out, a wall. Now you can only have one of these out at a time. So if you do want to have two, so it can't use, that's okay. Now, with this, of course it does 60 damage as you can see if you have two damage up, attack, uh, two damage up attacks. So that will two shot the opponent. And that's just what makes this weapon so strong, it'll two shot. And let's see the range. The range is pretty far, as you can see if you shoot forward, pretty decent. Not the best range, <coughs> and it does have a little bit of left to right. But, it's not too terrible. Let's go up here though, and then let's go to throw this out. As you can see, you can just hide behind it, and you can shoot through your wall. And, yeah, it's just overall pretty good. Now let's just get the killer whale, of course, right here. And you can just put this out. This weapon is good in ranked, of course, because you can kill the opponents. And this is just a good killing weapon. Now, I wouldn't recommend to have more than two of these if ranked teams ever come up. But so far, you can just pick this into rank pretty proficiently, and you'll be able to do just pretty well. Good at everything. And just one of the better weapons in the entire game. Of course, level 5. Now that I've talked a little bit about this weapon, let me go into a game, show you how to use it. I'll probably be able to try and dig. I'll probably be trying to kill the opponent a lot. This does get ground pretty good, though, so if you are wanting to get some ground, that'll be okay. Just, it is a very good kill weapon, so that's what I'll be going for. Okay, so here we are. And, of course, this. Of course, shoot behind you, and what you can do, this is not a ranked, this is just a regular one. What you can do, you can easily get the ground, you can easily get other players. A lot of the time, you will just want to be standing right next to them, and if I can get this guy right here, as you can see, two shots. Uh, it does take a while to hit people sometimes, just depending on your skill level or whatever, but of course, two shots. I mean, what, what can be better than killing somebody in two shots? That's just extremely powerful. And of course, if you can see where the opponent is coming from, it'll be even stronger. You can send out one of these things, and then you can hide behind it. Of course, you can send out one of these walls, hide behind that too. This can be used as a pretty defensive weapon, a very offensive weapon, getting a lot of ground. It's just good at, you know, it's good at everything. It's just a really good weapon. And I ran out right, <laughs> right then. Not very good time to run out. I want to just charge back up. And, as you see, I still killed him, even though he had way more shots on me, he had way more time to kill me. So, yeah, <laughs> it's just a very strong killing weapon. And if anybody's over here, I think I will be able to kill them pretty easily. Now, they just shot one of those things from the sky. Let's just cover all this crap. You can, of course, spam up in the air, of course, like always, to get a lot of this stuff on the ground. Go in, go out, get a lot of stuff all over the ground. So, yeah, you can go in, you can get some kills, you can kill the opponent. Which, yeah, that's just, that's just the main thing. A lot of the times you will want to have one of these other things, though, on your team, the echo locators, because if you do have that... There we go, kill them. If you do have the echo locator, you'll be able to just find the opponent a lot easier, and then you'll be able to shoot them out of the ground. I'm gonna put one of these over here. Ugh, I was trying to put one of my walls, which I did fail at, because I was a little bit out of ink. But you can put a wall right next to their spawn also, just to be, you know, a little bit of a troll. Let's see if I can get over here. This guy's a bit too far away for me to hit. Let me just get all this stuff on the ground. Now, he is using the paintbrush, which is, of course, one of the okay weapons of the game. It's not great. 
There we go. Killed him in two hits. Yeah, this weapon, if you do get those attack pluses, it's very strong. If you don't have the attack pluses, it's still okay. Just, you want to get them. Just saying, you want to get those attack pluses. Two hit kill, it's just one of the strongest weapons in the game, especially because the two hits, it's not even a slow weapon. It's a pretty friggin' fast weapon for having a two, kick, a two hit kill. And it's very far range, and it has very decent accuracy. Just good at everything. <laughs> it's just a great weapon. And if you want to get good at a single weapon, just play a single weapon all the way to pretty high rank. This will be, this will be a pretty nice one for you. It'll just be good. Also, the walls that this does provide, you can just throw them out, kind of like this. And now you're pretty much safe. You can hide in uh, your own little ink for a little bit. You can get pretty much full. So you put this right here. So if he moves out of his spawn, he is completely dead. Kill one, kill two, kill three. <laughs> yeah, you can just spawn kill all these guys. Ah, oh, he got me. But I did actually splat another guy while he was coming out. So, as you can see, very good at killing. <laughs> just gets all those murders. Gets the ground, gets the air. It's just... He gets everything. This is, weapon is just one of the top-notch weapons. And, win by 1%. Well, let's get to see my little KDA, which I did die two times, but I think I got six kills or something. Something okay. Nine... Yeah, eight kills. So, if you guys if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what weapon you want. Next week, a lot of people wanted this weapon. So, I'll be going over any weapon, telling you how to use them and such. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.